Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and today I want to share a new cool idea, at least I think it's cool, uh, I have for doing a conversion for a death copter for the Orcs. And this is inspired by the new preview by Games Workshop today, the uh, Decadence and Decay. So uh, as uh, most of you probably noticed if you watched that preview, there was nothing for the Orcs, which was of course a little bit sad. Um, you would always want like a bunch of new green skins, but um, there wasn't any at all. Um, but still, I got this uh, this cool idea. So, uh, well, I hope you think it's cool. So um, what I uh, am thinking about is, um, well, we can all first of all agree that the Dev Copter is um, perhaps not the worst model in the current Games Workshop catalog, but uh, I would say that it uh, it must be in the top five at least. It's it hasn't aged well. It doesn't look cool at all. I don't think. Um, so it could really, really do with an update. I would also really like to actually field one, um, just because it would be cool and fun. And I like the idea of a little orc zooming about the battlefield in his uh, in his tiny helicopter. So uh, I like the idea, but I hate the model. But then when I saw the uh, the preview today, I uh, I saw the new gang, the uh, House Van Sar for Necromunda, and uh, they had these. Um, cool dudes and dudettes uh, zooming about on these uh, hoverboards. Uh, I think they were called the Neotechs. And um, it looked really high-tech and really fancy and elegant. But, and I mean, I don't I know, that's really no match. I mean, it, it doesn't really fit in with the orcs, but um, hear me out. So if you um, if you take take the hoverboards and then you keep the lower part of, uh, of the body, like the legs and down, because uh, they have such a nice, um, uh, like, sort of position on the boards. It looks like they're really balancing on them and, and able are able to control them with their weight and stuff. So I think I would keep that part, the hoverboard itself and the lower part of the body. But then with the upper body and head of an orc, of course. And then, uh, I don't know, some sort of big gun. Uh, like a rocket launcher or something um, or like just something cool you convert whatever so you have that and I mean basically you could stop there because you would have a, a flying orc and you can say it's a death copter but I mean it could be a little bit difficult perhaps for your opponent to readily identify that as a death copter because it well basically doesn't look anything like a helicopter it's just a flying orc at this point um but i think it would be relatively easy to do a cool conversion where you would put uh, like uh, bits of sprue and plastic card and cardboard and metal mesh and stuff and build a really rough um like like really rough scaffolding on top of the orc uh, like from the sides of the hoverboard and then on top of the orc and then just do some sort of rotor to make it look like uh, a helicopter. You can do a rotor at the back sticking like roughly and really unelegantly <laughs> uh, out of the back of the hoverboard or, or something like that. So it would be really clear that uh, the hoverboard itself was definitely not built by the orcs but it has been looted by the orcs and has now been turned into this... Um, 50% 50 really elegant, smart, uh, technologically advanced solution and 50% just junk metal stuff that has been like hammered together by a big boy or something. And I just think it would be really fun. Also because the hoverboards themselves would be more or less the same. Um, but then you could do like one with uh, you know really big road on top and one with uh, like three small ones and uh, all sorts of different contraptions. So you could do a whole bunch and I don't think it would be really difficult because I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't have to look like anything that would actually fly because as long as the Oaks believe it'll fly, it'll fly. And I mean, basically, well, the hoverboard itself flies on its own so uh, so the whole contraption thing on top is uh, is perhaps not really necessary but i'm not sure the orcs will believe it can fly unless uh, they have added stuff to it um, at least that's my idea and uh, i also think it could work well that we keep the uh, like the pants and uh, and the um, boots of the original model and then just the orc body on top because uh, I mean, at least my orcs, they're probably pretty superstitious anyway. So I think they'll believe that it's like magic clothing that you need uh, to to wear in order to, to fly this thing. 
Yeah, so that's that's the idea, um, and I just think it would be fun because, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna go out and buy the diff copter. I think it's a, I think it's a sad old model that should have been retired ages ago. Um, so I'm not gonna do that, but I do want to to field them, and I think that the hoverboard would just be a really fun way of uh, incorporating that into into the army and making it look, um, uh, I mean, a little bit. Uh, a little bit new, is special. I don't think I've ever seen an orc on a hoverboard. But, I mean, perhaps there are tons of them out there and I just haven't been paying attention. So if that's the case, please, please, please leave links and stuff in the comments below because I would love to see that, definitely. So uh, what do you think? Is this a, is this a go or no-go? Is it a cool idea or is it an awful idea? Or uh, do you have uh, even better ideas? Um, I think this would also be fairly... Um, like uh, economical because uh, you would buy this box I think did it come with four people on the hoverboards or something and uh, I mean you could just put an old boy on top and most of us let's face it have plenty of bits and stuff lying around for that and then you could just do you know scratch build the helicopter bits uh, on the back or on the top or whatever so I think it would be uh, not that very expensive to do at all actually Let's see. <laughs> um, depending on, of course, what, how, how much the gang is going to be. But I don't, I don't think it would be, be too bad. So what do you think? Is it cool? Not cool? Uh, better ideas? Let me know. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that was the inspiration I got from the preview today anyway. So, uh, thank, you so, much for, so thank you so much for watching this one, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.